ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Rudy here, and it is a uh, somewhat coldish or coolish early spring Sunday afternoon on the Uri Arts of his homestead. And before I get bored, I mean, like, how could you get bored? Um, we got stuff to do. Like, you can see uh, there's plenty of wood around, but hey, like, you can never have enough wood. So there's more wood, and this is like junk wood, so to speak. But it's still good to burn an uh, outdoor fire pit over there, right? Um, so I have uh, th three uh, trusted tools with me. So a maul, big one, uh, an axe, and actually like a pickaroon or like a hookaroon or whatever. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry. I may be able to show you. So uh, let's get some wood split the old fashioned way by hand. Not like bare hand, but like with a uh, an axe. Manual labor on a Sunday afternoon. I mean, come on, give me a break. This is equity work par excellence. Is that how you say it? Anyways, I'm going to give you some nice fancy shots here because why not? I mean, I got to treat you on a Sunday afternoon or whenever you watch this. So let's start work. Stop rambling, Rudy, because we got stuff to do right there, as you can see. Just a few rounds. And I strap you on the POV. If you don't know what that is, I don't know what you're talking about here. That's point of view. Is that how you say it? Anyway, stop rambling, Rudy. Get working here because, as you said, you got stuff to do. All right.
you guys. There's a big knot here, making life hard for spreading wood. I'm gonna try it on the other side. See that? That's where the trouble is, right there. I'm gonna break a sweat too. Yeah. Yeah.
yeah. It's a big one. Yeah. Not. Got it. See that? That's the puppy. Oh yeah, I like that one. Oh, gotta get some distance here. Gotta get some distance. Oh yeah. Nice and thin. Beautiful. Ah, uh, this may be a little bugger, yeah. Oh, got it. All right, guys, like that? Little puppy over there. Tuck it out from doing nothing. Just watching, eh? All right, I'm gonna put you over here Let me put you over there right there this is trouble of the knot down here. See that? Let's see what the Grants for Brooks splitting mall can do. Yeah. Shall we? Oh yeah. One. Two. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no chance. You see that, guys? We had a crazy, crazy wacket knot over there. You see that, right? 
and see that? We have the Gransfors Brooks. Brooks. I don't know how to speak uh, Swedish pronunciation. Gransfors Brooks. Uh, sorry if I butcher that. Anyways, it's a wicked mall. Love it. It's uh, whoever TT is. See that TT? That uh, hand forged. I think that's the right term. The the metal piece. Good stuff, TT. All right. Um, yeah, let, let's continue here. Yeah? Let's continue. Um, I think this one is done. Uh, this is Wacko. Okay. Shall we? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to stack that properly, but uh, not for now. Oh, yeah. So this guy's, this guy's here. I think it's called like, uh, I always get confused which one it is. There's like a uh, pickaroon and a hookaroon. One of those guys is shorter than this. So this is like a long handle thing. Got this wicked claw on the end. I love it. So you don't have to bend over. You just go like this. And basically haul it away. If it actually sticks. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, you can roll around logs and stuff. A wicked, awesome. So this one is like by Husqvarna. Another Swedish company, Husqvarna. I think that's how they say it in Sweden. Husqvarna. Uh, yeah. Anyways, and once we are there, introducing the the wicked labor tools of today. This is a good old Fiskars. Uh, of course, not Sweden, but Finland. So what's happening with all the Scandinavian stuff? Um, you know this one. I don't know like the exact model that is, like splitting X uh, or just X, whatever. Uh, I got also like one with a shorter handle, but it doesn't really have like a splitting wedge like the mall. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about, right? If you like firewood and splitting, you know what I'm talking about. Does he know what we're talking about? I think he doesn't really care. He only cares when, we, when it's walkie-talkie time. He didn't get it. <laughs> and because it's not talkie, walkie, walkie time right now. And treats, right? That's what this guy cares about. Anyways, uh, for now we got to continue the show here, right? Oh yeah! Uh.
may be tough. It's a knot right there. Let's see what this brute force can do from Finland. Uh, no, Sweden actually. It's coming. Around the knot, of course. Of course. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Brutal. Oh. Oh. Strike. Oh. Awesome. Okay. A little bit short here. A little short. Need this guy here. Oh yeah. Gonna... Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh yeah. Crazy. Look at this guys. Look at this guys. So puppy here uh, this puppy here yeah see that isn't it wicked this guy here was poking right into this hole here no I'm not saying it uh, here wow and we got it looks a little bit nasty but who cares, all it counts, will it burn and create heat? That's all we care about, right? All right. Over there, bit of you. Over strike. Beautiful. See? Beautiful. I don't know. This is a little bit weird. All the weirdos go to the side. Because they're like. Uh, maybe this one is a weirdo too. They cause trouble stacking. This one for sure. Oh! Whew. Now this is gonna be interesting because there was a, a branch going this way here. And then there is a knot on both sides. Let's see what the Grand Force Brooks will do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wicked. Wicked. Oh, see that? This is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah, this is a weirdo. Okay, this is by the way this guy is, all this stuff is 
box elder or Manitoba maple. Um, and this one is Aspen. Let's see that. Oh! So many different spots. See that? See that? Okay. I don't want to show show off my butt in the lens. So let's turn this around. The knot. Can you see the knot? Oh yeah. Holy smokes. See that? Isn't it awesome? All this different stuff. So this is where the knot ties in. Or actually like another collar, whatever. However you want to call it. Um, yeah. If you trust the Swedes, they can handle it. They can handle it. Just gotta give it a go. Give it a go. I will get you, don't worry. I will get you. Resistance and endurance, stamina, determination. Oh, so guys, the challenge is when you do the wood splitting stuff, you end up with like a gazillion of different um, points of impact. Of course, uh, I guess it would make sense uh, at one point to switch from a tire to a splitting block so it can swing it around and hit it while it's stuck in the wood. So that's kind of like, right? You know what I'm talking about. But let's do it this way. Because we have plenty of energy to burn. Oh, yeah. Eventually it will come. Oh. Ugh. Eventually it will come. Maybe later than sooner, but it will. See, now would be the point of swinging around on the chopping block. Let's try swinging around. So, oh, see that? That was the magic touch. Okay, we leave it at that point.
we leave it at that point right want to see the fiskars okay you get the fiskars oh yeah easy squeezy ah see never get too cocky when you when you're on camera because it can backfire And as you know, wood splitting is serious business. No, 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 Rudy. Don't put the poplar on this guy. Don't put the poplar there. We don't want that. What the hell did I do? What the hell did you do, Rudy? because we are not mixing that. Uh, we are not mixing that. All right, one more Fiskars. Yeah! Beautiful. I think we do one more. So this is box elder again, or as we say here in Alberta, it's Manitoba maple because, um, why Manitoba maple and why crab wood? Well, like a lot of people call this crab wood um, because it's not really dense and it rots quite fast. Anyways, um, yeah, why Manitoba maple? Does it come from Manitoba? Who cares? Yeah, splits easy. If you hit it right. Oh yeah, you see that? Did we hit a knot? Nope. Yeah. All right. Let's switch one more time to the good old Fiskars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Uh, one more. Yeah. Like it's small and handy. Burns better or faster. Oh yeah. See that? Oh boys, you can see it's gonna work out. All those uh, odds, ends and pieces gonna go for a different time. Um, those are my trades of the tool, uh, tools of the trade, Rudy, that's how we call it. Um, yeah, that's all Aspen, which I did the other day. Um, that's all Manitoba maple. And this is all mixed wood, all kinds of stuff. A hundred years old, seems like. Anyways, you can never have enough wood, right? Anyways, I'm going to cut you off, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe if you like this kind of uh, freakish workout stuff with Scandinavian tools handled by a German. Anyways, um... Now we got two puppies there. See that? They're already tired watching me. So I let you go. 
See you next time in the yards, wood yards, lawn yard, whatever, cleaning gutters. You know it, we got it. Anyways, you have a fantastic rest of your day and talk to you later. See you. Bye.